Demolition turned into a whole week for us. But we started with the, the landscaping. I want to say landscaping, the backyard. You saw some pictures, images of the landscaping backyard in the last video. But now, take a look at what we've done to it. This is actually the exact same backyard. We've got rid of tremendous, tremendous amounts of brush branches. We cut down numerous trees. We're filling in an old pool hole. So I guess we're not entirely done. You saw we didn't got that, those holes filled yet. We got some fill dirt coming tomorrow to fill that in. Get a place to burn your brush. Man, I can't imagine how many truckloads, dumpsters, I should say, full of brush we have. Dumpsters, 600 bucks. Depending on what size, you get 800 bucks a piece. Every time you fill it up, there's another six, 800 bucks. We got a 20-yard dumpster that's filled up with mostly... Uh, stuff already from the yard we luckily don't have a whole lot to demo from the inside to fill that up i think we'll be good with that if we can burn all this brush off site so here i am at a different property have begun the burning process of a lot of it. it's going to take a lot of truckloads to take it back and forth we we kind of just figured what if it takes 10 truckloads if this property is only 10 minutes away each direction maybe not even that about eight minutes so even if we do that 10 times between gas, I mean, we just save, we're gonna save hundreds of dollars. And I think when it comes to flipping homes, penny pinching is really the name of the game. How much, how many pennies can you pinch without making a poor product? I think we'll have an outstanding product when this is all said and done. We're not, we're not going cheap on anything, but we're saving money everywhere we can. Now what we had debated on is fence. You know, we are in town limits and most everybody's got some sort of fence around us. And we're thinking about not having one. Well, I, I, I am a country boy. I love big yards, big open areas. So I guess I'm a little biased on that. What do you think? Put it down below. Should we have gotten a fence? Should we put a fence in? We still have time. And now it's just ready for a little bit of grass seed and some fertilizer to turn this baby into something nice. Since the lone tree we saved is a cherry. I like cherry trees. Did a little wood working with cherry trees. I like it. My dad loved a cherry tree. So I got some sentimental value there. And now we've, we've, we're like 95% done with all the gutting that we're going to do, which frankly is not a ton. But obviously we started with the yard. But before we do that, how about this? The old garage door is gone. The brand new is in. It's an insulated garage door. The garage itself is insulated. The roof of it is even insulated. We have clearly turned it into a storage unit for the time being for all our supplies. But yeah, look here, nice insulated garage. We wanted to make take care of this immediately so we can start using this for storage. Come in here and here's what we got. Got rid of all this, the flooring is essentially called our gut. We got rid of the kitchen cabinets. Everything in the kitchen is pretty much gone. What we haven't gutted yet that we're going to is, I mentioned in the last video, we're going to put a breakfast bar somewhere right in here. Somewhere right in here. It is right here. Um, still debating on the stove. Had a lot of comments in the last one about where that stove should go in, compare, in relation to the garage. I'm sorry, not the garage, the refrigerator. Anyway, so we're still, still debating all that in our mind. We got a lot of space here. Did some research that if we want to put the stove next to the refrigerator, you have to have at least 20 inches in between. Actually, the 20 inches sounds like that's the suggested, which we could put cabinets in between there. So again, trying to visualize. Dishwasher, sink, stove. No, not stove. Maybe stove, but I don't think so. We want the breakfast bar so it opens up the living room. Refrigerator, stove over here. These studs are gonna go down. We haven't taken them down yet because we wanna put a support beam across. But back over here in our utility room, I call it utility room right now, it's just a room. Got all this out as well. Uh, water heater was here and so was our furnace. They're currently not in here as you can see. And the issue we got going on here is that this floor sinks right here. It sinks right there, it sinks right there. So we're going to, have to fix that, get that leveled out. 
Um, that's probably, well, that's, that's going to come up a high top priority in the very near future because you can see we already got our HVAC guy out here. Mr. Wilton, I call him. He's an amazing man. And he's already taken out the water heater. We're going to replace that water heater. Water heater is six years old, so we were told. I don't know about that. It, but it was, it was shot. Had to get rid of it. Furnace is, uh, is being serviced right now. It's actually salvageable. It's going to be a good furnace still. We have begun the process of the wallpaper. I say begun. Damon's wife actually did a bunch of it. We are not done yet. Man, removing wallpaper is not a lot of fun. Get rid of all this. So we're gonna get rid of all that. Again, this is our breakfast bar area here. Like it, like how it's turned out. This flooring here, I think it's gonna be just fine to leave it. We're gonna put vinyl plank flooring over it. Damon's making a lot of noise over here. Damon! Come on now, hey. Explain this. Explain. Breakfast bar. Right? Right. Explain your vision here. We'll cut this wall back, probably to here. And then the new entrance to both rooms will be open through here all the way up and open a breakfast bar. From here, probably two feet total. And we'll cut this back into this wall. So from about here to here will be a breakfast bar. So this wall will be open, the tunnel will be open all the way back here at this level and then all the way up and everything over here back to and I'm gonna six inches here for that two Why don't you go on the comments below and explain tell me who explained that better? Them Groves or any bus. DG or A B is all you gotta put. Bathroom. Gonna be a cold rehaul here. So we have not necessarily completely gutted the bathroom. Carpet's gone if you remember. Yep. Carpet is gone. Carpet is gone. Gutted all that. So we've got rid of the sink. The vanity, the toilets here, in case I need to pee. The shower, we have not tackled it. That, that'll be a bit of, this is a big one-piecer. Not gonna keep it. The hole is nice at one point. No, it's a very nice shower. Got rid of some wallpaper in here. So, like I said, we're about 95% done gutting uh, with the wallpaper. We've got a little bit of wallpaper left and a few odds and ends, and, and that is it. So, we got this. Next up is to stop deconstruction and start constructing. Roof, siding, windows, three biggies, man. We're gonna make the outside of this place look like a million dollars. Well, maybe not that much, but a lot of money. We're gonna start with that. Yard's in good shape. This window, well, we'll get into it. You'll see it in the next video. We can take care of the siding and the windows. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Flipping a house in Northern Indiana, Walkerton. Hey, this is how we're doing it. This, this series of videos is gonna be right in order how we're doing everything. Does not mean that we're doing it the right way. Doesn't mean that you have to agree with it. And I would love to hear though, honestly I would. Just don't be a rude jerk about it. Let me know if you do things differently, different order, different theories, different thoughts, or you have an idea. Maybe you see something that, man, we are forgetting. It's our first flip. Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in.